dear sixth graders, we are going to continue our science lesson, Reproduction of Green Plants. Let's remember together the parts of the flower. The pistil, pistil's end, the pistil carry an ovary, and the ovary encloses ovules. The stamen is made up of two pollen sacs at the top and a filament. The flower contains many stamens, but only one pistil. This is the petal, this is the sepal, and this is the peduncle that holds the whole flower. Let's talk about the stamen. A stamen is made up of a filament and two pollen sacs. Each pollen sac is made up of many yellow pollen grains. The stamen is the male reproductive organ. Each pollen grain is a male reproductive cell. It encloses two nuclei. Nuclei is the plural of a nucleus. Each pollen grain, which is a male reproductive cell, contains Two nuclei. Let's talk about the pistil. This is the pistil end, this is the ovary, and this is the ovule. The pistil has an elongated shape. The pistil is the female reproductive organ. The ovule is the female reproductive cell. It encloses one nucleus. It contains one nucleus. Each ovule is a female reproductive cell containing one nucleus. Sexual reproduction First, reproduction means producing new plants. When the reproduction requires the use of male and female reproductive organs, this is sexual reproduction. When the reproduction, when producing new plants, requires the use of the stamen, which is the male reproductive organ, and the pistil, which is the female reproductive organ, we call the mode of reproduction sexual reproduction. 